Hello, Mr. Nigland here. Welcome to Air Gaze God Bless the Ring, a fighting game from 1998, I believe, in January. It released on January 5th, 1998. So, this game, I stumbled, up, uh, it was both a PlayStation 1 game and a, an arcade in Japan, but I believe the arcade actually was uh, imported to the United States and to Europe because uh, when I were. And I were with my family, <coughs> like in, uh, must have been in 98 or something, uh, in a place during summer, I believe it's named uh, <coughs> in Swedish Skara Summerland, uh, in, in Swedish uh, Skara. Okay, so in that place, I believe there were an arcade where I stumbled upon this game. Of course, the arcade version of the game didn't have the mini games, and it didn't have the brand new quest. The, the PlayStation version of the game has a role-playing quest called Brand New Quest where you can play as two unique characters of this game and uh, it's like a role-playing game. I have never really played it much. I tried it out but never really played it. It wasn't a part of the arcade. It's only a part of the PlayStation version. And then there are some, some mini-games in this game where you can play as every character in the game. And those mini-games are unique for the PlayStation version as well. And then I believe there is the arcade mode uh, that was on the arcade, of course, as well. But this PlayStation version had slightly worse graphics than the arcade, while uh, the, the PlayStation version had more characters. So we need to unlock all the secret characters. I believe the secret characters in this game are the two characters. Wait a second. Need to go to options. Game settings, it will be on very easy, the AI or CPU level. Uh, hit points, be maxed, we will have no time limit. Boxes could be on. And uh, sound settings. Can't uh, lower the sound, that sucks. Okay, but then I will speak now. So this game, Airgaze God Bless the Ring, from January 5th, 1998, released for the PlayStation, was a, an arcade as well that I stumbled across with my family back in like 98 or 99, I believe 98, uh, we were at the place called Skara Sommarland in Swedish, which means Skara Summerland, where we, um, I believe, uh, had some fun and that arcade was uh, located at that place. I believe I at least tried it twice and uh, the one thing that stuck with me in playing the arcade was that it had Cloud Strife, the main character from Final Fantasy 7, uh, the first uh, real uh, computer game that I ever played and my first my first actual owned uh, computer game. I believe I played some, some uh, other computer games prior to playing Final Fantasy 7 but they, they were not really known games. I believe they were sports games. Or they were Disney games. Okay, uh, but uh, <coughs> Final Fantasy VII was the first game that I bought for the computer. And uh, Cloud Strife is the main character and he was playable in this game. And that's what, uh, what made me remember this game. So, so back in 2004 I actually imported this game uh, from the internet okay, because I wanted to play with, uh, with all the characters. Uh, I believe in 97, no, in 96, I had played a demo of Final Fantasy VII at a friend's house, sixth uh, in, in preschool class, and then I bought the game in 97, I believe, or if it was 98 actually that I bought it. I played it with a friend in 97, I believe and then I bought it in 98. The, the computer version of the game released in 98 and the PlayStation version released in 97. Okay, and uh, because I were only six years old at, at the time, I uh, or seven, I didn't understand English, so I couldn't finish the game. I believe I reached as far as Wall Market, and then I couldn't get any further because I didn't understand what to do. So I didn't understand the, the language used in the game. English 
for me back then was as alien as Japanese is today. Okay, but uh, a few years later, I, I believe in fifth grade, I could finish the game because I were uh, actually better at understanding English. Okay, uh, and in I believe seventh grade in 2004, I imported this game Air Gaze, God Bless the Ring, which had Cloud as a playable character, but not just him. I believe the, the arcade had Tifa Lockhart as well, the, the main love interest of Cloud, and then the PlayStation version added even more characters like Jaffe Kisarage, Vincent Valentine, and uh, Sephiroth. And I also believe that, they, that many of the characters got alternate skins. Like for example, Vincent Valentine got his Turk outfit. And uh, Cloud has his Shinra uniform soldier outfit. And Tifa has her, um, I believe, Nibelheim flashback outfit. Cowboy outfit. Cowgirl, should I say. And Sephiroth has his bear, uh, bear uh, no shirt outfit. Okay, we will jump straight to the arcade and play the game with the Final Fantasy 7 characters and unlock the others. I've already played this game on my YouTube channel two times. Finished it back in 29, 28 something. And uploaded uh, the videos again in 2010 I believe. Because my old YouTube channel was removed so, so my new YouTube channel uploaded some of the older videos. I had uh, saved backups off and I played uh, this entire game and unlocked all the F FF7 characters and did the uh, mini games. Uh, but uh, the quality of the video was only in 480p back then because I streamed my PlayStation 2. So I played the game on a PlayStation 2, which is backwards compatible with PlayStation 1 games. And then I streamed it uh, with the help of a tool named the Pinnacle Studio. Uh, so um, I believe I had Pinnacle Studio 10 back then and uh, that's why the quality of the video is pretty bad. It has the, the PlayStation 2 resolution and uh, it was streamed using SCART cables so that explains why the video quality is so bad and, and also I didn't speak in any videos prior to 2018, prior to the summer of 2018 I didn't speak. So I, I remade the videos in 2015, where I played on the EPSXE emulator, same emulator I'm using now. So I've already replayed the game using an emulator in 2015 in January, I believe, where I had great graphics and great sound quality. I still didn't speak back then, and also I believe I didn't do the, the mini games. I unlocked the Final Fantasy VII characters in the arcade, and then I stopped playing. So, so now we want to, to do that again, play the arcade as the Final Fantasy VII characters and unlock them. And then we want to do the, the mini games where we can also play as the Final Fantasy VII characters. The, the role playing game unfortunately didn't allow that. So. Okay, let's exit this options menu. We have the arcade mode, a mo mode where we can uh, play single player as a single character and fight multiple AI opponents. If you beat them without any continuous in, uh, before a certain time has run out, then you will be able to fight two extra characters in the arcade, because you only fight ear gaze unique characters in the arcade. But if you if you uh, do well enough, then, then you get to fight Cloud and Tifa in the arcade, but you do not ever get to fight Sephiroth and the others. We have a practice mode where you can pick any character you like and fight, and you can even have the like, select the, the enemy. It's good for some videos if you want to use throw of the gameplay and for practicing moves and such. Then we have the VS mode, but they forgot, like most other games uh, ported from an arcade, they forgot to include the VS CPU mode. So you only have the VS player mode. So if you do not have a player to fight against, the VS mode is worthless. And that's a mode where you can fight against the player and both of you select your character and fight. Uh, practice mode is similar, but you can select the AI player here. But, but the battles will never stop because it's a practice mode where everyone has unlimited health. The arcade mode is uh, where you play single player as anyone you like, but uh, all, the, all the opponents are set from the start. So there's no way to fight against Sephiroth, Jaffe, Vincent, 
uh, unless you have a player to fight against, which is sad. Should have added them to the arcade or allowed the player to pick an, a CPU opponent in the VS mode. Let's go to the arcade mode. We have 59 seconds uh, before we can't select a character. We have all of these characters. Here we have Cloud Strife and Tifa Lockhart. Even Sephiroth was available from the start. Okay. We play as Cloud Strife, the main character. Final Fantasy VII. It's been a while since I played. Yeah, we have a great uh, quality graphics, so the boxes can be disabled. They can also be destroyed in a fight, I believe. I believe we can destroy the boxes and uh, find items inside. I don't know what they do, the items. Ah, we can throw them, I see. So we get like throwing weapons from the boxes. Okay, so this game has the best possible graphics now thanks to the emulator. I believe on the on the arcade the, the models looked uh, like they were uh, almost PlayStation 2 quality, so they, they had better quality graphics on the arcade. But uh, playing on an emulator is still a lot better graphically than playing on the PlayStation 1 or 2. The models here look great. Playing on the MAM emulator for the arcades do not count because they look bad there. I tried it and they didn't look as good as on a video of the actual arcade. The, the MAM emulator did a poor job at uh, emulating the good graphics of the arcade machine. So the, the models looked older on the MAM emulator. So there were no way of lowering the music. Okay, cloud looks really good here. The emulator is based on his first iteration from the official 1997 Final Fantasy game released for the PlayStation. This game is of course a PlayStation Title 2 fighting game where they had mostly unique new characters for this game but decided to so add Final Fantasy 7 characters because they were hugely popular at the time. This game released before Final Fantasy VIII was made. So Final Fantasy VII was the latest Final Fantasy title to have been released. It was the biggest title released in the franchise at the time. I believe it's still the biggest title. You can run around like this and have like a defensive stance. And fight like this. He can fight with his feasts and uh, legs. He can also pick up his sword and use the sword. I'm not a fan of the fact that he turns red whenever he uses the sword. It looks bad in my opinion. It's because uh, they wanted probably the, the character to look different when he uses the sword to make him look more powerful or something. But that was uh, in my opinion a bad decision. Okay. So I didn't plan on playing this game again, as I already did replay it in 2015. But I wanted to do the mini games with the EPS XE emulator, and unfortunately I had no save of the game and I didn't bother adding it. Could be annoying. So instead I decided to replay everything now. I didn't speak in the older videos, so I decided to do a video where I spoke. Here we will play the minigames too, as uh, the Final Fantasy VII characters. Ah, we lost the fight. Not good. Then, then we might not get to, to fight against... ...against Tifa and Cloud. Okay. Okay. 
can jump from the walls like that. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game back in the day. I just didn't like that it didn't have the VS CPU mode, so I could never fight Sephiroth and Jaffe and Vincent as the AI. I needed a friend to, to play against them. Of course I played this game against some friends and my sister too. Back in the day, back in like 2004 and 5, 7th grade and 8th grade. But as an adult I had no choice but to fight against the computer and uh, unfortunately I couldn't uh, pick the, the enemies for the AI. Oh perfect, we, we won without losing any health. Okay, another fight. Try to finish him fast. Do the meteor attack. So I used to own a strategy guide for this game that I bought in 2015. Eh, I imported it from the internet from eBay. I sold it and the game uh, for the, uh, the 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 bought copy, I believe. Together with the PlayStation 1 console, I believe in 2015 when game closed in Sweden, uh, I believe they shut down their stores in outside of uh, the United States. Uh, they sold a bunch of stuff, including PlayStation 1 consoles. I, I bought two PlayStation 1 consoles, with one controller each, for only like uh, only like 30 dollars, and. Uh, I believe I sold one of them later with the uh, game Jurassic Park, the game that followed with one of the consoles, and then I sold the other with this game. And I had uh, uh, the strategy guide too. It was probably pretty, pretty rare. This game wasn't sold in too many copies. Alright, you fight this Yoko girl. The yo yo. Just meet your strike. You won, perfect. Now we need to win again. This fighting game is actually fun in the arcade. Easy moves, you can fight in two different styles, great graphics, especially on an emulator. But I actually thought the graphics were good for a PlayStation 1, even on the PlayStation 2. And the PlayStation 2 has the same resolution as the PlayStation 1 when playing PlayStation 1 games, I believe. Might be a slight improvement, but not much of an improvement. Okay. This is really fun, especially if you have a friend to fight against, or if you play the arcade. Uh, it sucks that they didn't add a VS CPU mode, the same issue that Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Ball Z has for the PlayStation 2. <coughs> so there is like one important mode missing. Gets tiresome after a while, and you've, when you've played the arcade many times, you tire on it. And the mini games might be fun too, but... Uh, for the most part they are fun against friends and not against the computer and uh, the RPG sucks in my opinion couldn't even fight as the play, uh, Final Fantasy 7 characters that's the main reason I didn't play it uh, had, had it had uh, F7 characters playable I would have certainly finished it because I bought this game for the, for the Final Fantasy 7 characters I've been a huge FF7 fan. Back when I bought it, I believe I, I played uh, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, and Final Fantasy 9. So I like loved both of them in 24, 23, 22. 
but Final Fantasy VII was my favorite. It was the first one that I played on the computer. I later played it on the PlayStation 1 as well. I played all versions of Final Fantasy VII, except the new remaster for the PlayStation 4. <coughs> Right, we won. So I plan on, on uh, <coughs> buying the uh, Crisis Core remaster later, and and uh, of course uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I wish they would remake this game and add a versus CPU mode. Also, they could probably get away with replacing all the characters of this game with only Final Fantasy VII characters and make it a Final Fantasy VII fighter instead. So instead of having Air Gaze characters you have only Cloud and his friends and Frinnera and everyone else and then they fight exactly like this. And then they add the versus CPU mode and the survival mode and a tag team mode and a four player mode. This game would work fine in four players. Like that Xena, mo uh, Xena game, and the Naruto games, and the Bleach Bla Blade Battlers games. Right, so I, I could see this game with four players at once, and and with uh, only Final Fantasy VII characters, or maybe only Final Fantasy characters, like a Dissidia game, but that plays like this, more grounded, where they don't fly in the air and stuff. This feels more realistic. I mean, Cloud couldn't fly in Final Fantasy VII, but in Dissidia he could all of a sudden fly. He can't fly in Remake either. But in Dissidia he can. He jumps very high. Well, in the cinematics of the Remake he can also jump very high. But you can't really fly or jump high in the normal gameplay. He's grounded, which I like more realistic. He's not Goku. Son Goku from Dragon Ball. Who can fly? <coughs> okay, we'll fight the Ninja. And if we are fast enough, we can uh, fight Tifa and Cloud inside of that gold soccer gate. But if we are too slow, which I suspect we, we have been this time, then, then we won't get to fight uh, Tifa and Cloud. So it's like a red version of Cloud that we'll fight if we are Cloud. Otherwise we fight the normal Cloud. And we fight the normal Tifa unless we play as Tifa. Then we fight a red version of Tifa. You never fight the, the cool looks, the, the Finra Soldier Cloud. Or the, or the Cowboy Tifa version. You can only fight them if you have a player a friend to fight against. Fuck did I jump in this game? Ah, on, on L2. So you meet your strike, or whatever it's named. Meet your rain, maybe. A limit break of cloud. Die. See if we were fast enough. Probably not. We'll take a different route. Otherwise, no, we failed. We'll run the other way. If we aren't fast enough. I believe it's because we lost one fight. Now we fight the second last battle. This guy is named Django. But he has a red 13 skin, I believe. So he is almost red 13. Another Final Fantasy 7 character. Looks like a dog with a fire tail. Like a mix between a, a, a lion and a Charmander from Pokemon. Uh, we 
might lose this round. I did pretty poorly. Just meet your rain. Bastard. Oh, we hit them. Fuck you. I need him to die. Come on up. Good. We won. It was pretty difficult. Ah, we need another round. We need to win. Another round. This is a f more fun fighter than the, the other two in my opinion. The Kenshin one and the Renma one. Renma might be fun if you get good at it. This one has really easy to do moves that I like. But will get boring without a friend. The missing versus computer mode. Yeah, we lost again. Gangu is actually pretty difficult, even on easy. I used to be way better in this game in the past. Let's try again. Yeah, I didn't do a good job this playthrough. I believe in my first playthrough that I played in 2010 or uploaded in 2010 I believe I did a really good job with some of the characters I fought Cloud and Tifa so I didn't fail at the time and I also defeated Django the first try and uh, even defeated the final boss uh, with some of the characters you don't need to defeat them because it's on time, the final battle I don't know what's happened. I thought I placed it on easy, on beginner difficulty and still I do not win, what the fuck? I become really bad at this game. Okay, we spam the attack. Bastard. Can't use his sword now because I've used too many meteors. That sucks. I will lost again. Stupid. Yeah, I become way worse in the game. Used to be good at this game. Ah, uh, sucks. So you can do Omni Slash in this game, the ultimate attack of Cloud. It's difficult to do. You do multiple uh, special moves. Oh, we grabbed him. Forgotten I could do that. There are a bunch of secret moves you can do. Lost again. It's actually pretty difficult this game. I know you haven't played it in a while. Finally, we need to win again. 
Gango is much more difficult than the others. This is small. It avoids two of the attacks with the sword. Like that. Fucking bastard! Easy time on beginner level. Yeah, this would have been a great four player brawler. I think it should have uh, one versus one, two versus two, and and uh, free for all, four player, and even team battles, and replace any character that isn't fan fancy based with fan fancy characters, uh, or make use the fan fancy seven version. Yeah. Awesome. boss but we need to finish the boss in a set amount of time so we need to get the boss to destroy these boxes uh, you're not supposed to actually fight them you're supposed to have him destroy that box but you have a limited amount of time oh now we need to pick up the sword this didn't go too well. Then we need to hit them. Oh, the sword! Fucking shit! I think we won't make it. Fucking bastard! Ah, uh, we lost. We need to... Pick up the sword and hit him with the second sword and then we need to pick up stars Including the final sword that will show up when we picked, all the, picked up all the stars And then we would uh, get the proper ending I failed Most of this arcade playthrough was a failure Guess with this game we, we will play as uh, Tifa and Sephiroth too, but I believe that I might actually get a safe game. So I don't have to unlock everything again. I'm not as good as I used to be. I want to jump straight to the mini games. So I've already played this game on my channel two times before where I unlocked the Final Fantasy 7 characters. So, so I just want to play the mini games. The better graphics. I also never did the battle panels in the past. So we get like a result after each time we pick.
finish the arcade. So our time was 16 minutes, or whatever. 5510 score. Go to, to the arcade. Options. Game settings. We have very easy on. I don't know what the problem is. Let's change it to this then. We have a movie player where we can play the opening and other movies when we unlock them. There are a bunch of secret movies, like endings for each, for each uh, unique character and for Sephiroth, I believe. Okay, arcade mode. FIFA lock card. You can use the rotational stick to move around too. Which is good. It's not as tiresome to the finger. Picked me up. I believe the arcade version of Tifa had like uh, <coughs> uh, it had like physics for the, the boobs so they would banish. I believe that was removed in this PlayStation version. To the arcade we're more, uh, what should I say, sexist. <laughs> uh, but we still look great in this game. It's just that her boobs do not bounce. Like in the arcade version. Okay. Oh, I threw a fucking box at me. Screw you. Threw an axe at him. Tifa Lockhart She fits perfectly as a fighter in this game She can throw a beam to the enemy Okay, now we fight fight the guard hand, I believe. Good, we won! Got a perfect score! Need to win another round. Fuck, he interrupted my attack there. That's not good. Put me cornered. Alright, go on. Yeah, this is a nice arcade game. If they added four players and uh, you know more modes like VS Computer, Survival, 
team tag battle, team battle, free for all, etc., etc., and more items and more characters based on the Fan Fantasy series, then it would be awesome. So I bought this game in 2004 only because it had Final Fantasy VII characters. That was the only reason I bought it. So I wanted to play as Sephiroth mostly, but also Tifa. I didn't really care about the other characters that are not from Final Fantasy VII. That's why I never played the role-playing game. I did try it out a little bit. Thought it was boring. Some people think it's a good game to have, like a dungeon crawler. Similar to Baldur's Gate, probably. Because there were no way to place Cloud in it, or Tifa. I, I did not play it. Uh, I tried to find sheets to change the model into Cloud and, and Tifa and such, but there were no such sheet or hack. Not even Game Shark sheets. I love that. One again, good. Joko. Again, Tifa has nice moves. All right. Ready, I liked her looks in this game. She looked like in the original game, but with a better model than the actual Final Fantasy VII game. This was the best Tifa model for a long time. I prefer this model over her, her look in Advent Children where they censored her legs and, and, uh, and stomach and stuff. I didn't like her new look. She looked cool in Advent Children but not sexy like in this game. And in the original. Perfect! He didn't lose any health. Good. Let's die already. Unlike the other games, this has really nice moves. Controls and such. Yeah, certainly more fun to play. The missing VS CPU mode is the only real problem I have with it. Because the arcade will get boring after a while when you played it a lot with everyone. You don't want to play too much in the arcade. For any Final Fantasy VII fan, I recommend this game. It has a lot of Final Fantasy VII characters as guest characters. And for any fighting game fan, I think they should try it at least. Good, we won again. This uh, playthrough of the arcade went way better than with Cloud Strife. So yeah, Tifa Lockhart has uh, nicer moves in my opinion. She's a martial artist and that fits a game like this better than Cloud, who is a soldier with a huge sword. Oh. 
Oh, we have some items we can take. Oh, perfect. Face cloud now. Would be surprised otherwise. Yes, we did it. We unlocked the secret area. Probably they could be fought in the arcade of the arcade game as well. Didn't add that the new characters to the arcade. Big mistake. This is Cloud's arena, an elevator at Yunon. Peace battle music. Final Fantasy 7 remixed for this game. One bad thing was that you couldn't use this music when you play, played in the same, same area <coughs> in the VS player mode. So you only get this music if you play in the arcade. Jumping and flying in the air and such, like in the Adventure Children movie. Uh, I believe this is more like I imagined a battle between Cloud and Tifa. Of course, they have materials; they can do magic attacks. But uh, I mean, a physical battle would be more like this, I believe, than in the city. Of course, they did the Adventure Children. Like they did it because they wanted it to be flash and impressive. And then the Decidia games are based on that movie in the sense that they made the battle similar to the movie. It was released in 27 the same year. So this game is released just after the original game. So I, I believe this better captures my imagination of what the fight would have been like if it were not turn based. At least for Tifa. Okay, the red version of Tifa, the alternate skin, unique for this game, and you fight her in the arcade. It's easy to, to uh, evade enemy attacks by, uh, by running.
Ah, we lost the run. Tifa has some magic attack, she can use two where she heals herself or her energy, but only after she has used up her attacks. Go on again. This is Tifa's unique stage with the Aerith music, I believe. It can only be heard if you play in the arcade. It's like with Cloud's music. Now you fight Django. The only Final Fantasy VII characters you could fight against. Uh, against the computer, uh, um, where Cloud and Tifa, the others were only available for the players, which is sad. Attack. Bite him in the back. Bite him in the ass, I mean. Good, we won easily with Tifa. Nice. Now we just need to handle the, the boss. I'm not sure we will manage to do it. We need to defeat him within a set limit of, uh, of time. We don't have a lot of time to do this. Fucking shit, don't fall down! Get up! What the hell? And the other one. Suspect we will not be able to make it. It's not good when they end up in a corner like that. Let's skip the extra. So yeah, you need to throw two swords at him within a set limit of time and then pick up all the stars. I believe there are like six or five stars. So we earned 28,290 points. 11 minutes. This went way better. The other one was 16 minutes. Okay. We're done with Cloud and Tifa. Cloud Strife and Tifa Lockhart. Only Final Fantasy 7 characters that we are in the arcade. So we should have unlocked something new. We have Cloud and Tifa, we have Sephiroth, we have Jaffe, Kitsaragi, we have Vincent Valentine. So we unlocked Vincent and uh, Jaffe when we defeated the game as Cloud and Tifa. So we could continue and play as Jaffe, Vincent and Sephiroth. Uh, I, I think we could play as Jaffe too. She looks good. She has no cool, unique uh, look. Alternate looks, I mean. She's using her shuriken. She's a ninja from Utai. She has ninja weapons. She's a thief also. Of course we missed with the attack. Miss 
Straight all the attacks. Alright, we'll try again. By the way, we can play a sack fair as well. He's like the same, he has the same moves as Cloud. Just a different hairstyle and face. A different head and hair. He is also playable. Okay, Yaffe. So I played really poorly with Cloud. On. Second round. That girl can turn into a, like a creature. Well, a confused enemy. This guy, another ninja, I believe. So ninja versus ninja here. Would we hit them? Hit them again, perfect. We did get hit once, that's why we didn't get a perfect, I believe. Oh, yes, that spear. Can move up here, too. One of the best looking fighters for the PlayStation 1 using 3D models. And one of the funnier ones to play. If you like arcade modes, this is one of the best. But if you like VS computer mode, sadly it will disappoint. Good. Managed to hit her with the smoke bomb that confused her. Oh, 
it. Bastard. Take that uh, medicine. Let's throw the axe at him too. Go to one. The ninja here. Another ninja. They need to fight. Maybe the other guy was a samurai and not a ninja. But this is a ninja for sure. Perfect. Nice. Didn't get hurt. Uh, he hit us this time. Again, good. Yeah, we will fight the cloud now and then Tifa. Yaffe versus Cloud. Yaffe Kisaragi versus Cloud Strike. Okay. Right, Cloud. You're, you ain't got getting your materia back. fight her in her normal look. Mm. 
Miss with the bomb, smoke bomb. Bam! Fed. Good, we hit there with smoke bomb. Nice, we hit there again. Nice, perfect hit. Now it's Django. We lift, uh, lifted him up. Best thing against Django is to just use your legs to do low attacks. So we miss with the other attacks most of the time. Because he's one of those annoying smaller enemies that are hard to hit with normal humans. Fuck, we lost this fight. to defeat because of uh, the box ending up stuck in the corner. We have a limited time, so it's not good when this happens. Yeah. Let's exit this. Time, 9 minutes. It went better, I believe, than Tifa. I could be wrong. Jaffe got 30,050 points. He got more points. Yeah, I think it went better than with Tifa. 
certainly better than with cloud. Say the game. Yes, say. Now let's check. The arcade. Tifa Sephiroth, Jaffe, Vincent Okej, okay, so we still need to def uh, play as Vincent, Valentine and Sephiroth And then we have two additional uh, looks of Tifa and Cloud And we have Zack And then we have an additional look of Vincent So there are a lot of uh, alternate skins and such we could play as uh, Sephiroth I didn't plan on playing this here now. Exit. Could play some mini games. Beach Battle Runner. Battle it out on the hot beach. Battle dash. Run across the sand to the goal. Battle flag. Race to get the flag on the sa sand dune. Timing at the takeoff line is the key. Is the key. Battle hurdle. Jump over the obstacles. If you trip, you'll fall behind. X or circle button. Run. Triangle or square button. Action. Okay. We'll control cloud. Battle Beach in the game. Ready, go! Uh, I never succeed here. Try to press X multiple times, but it failed. Ready. Ah, foul. Fucking shit. Fail with that too. Ready. Go. Click the wrong button when I were about to jump there. Totally fail, we'll try again. With cloud. Fast. <coughs> Foul again. Battle dash. He cheated. He cheated a lot. That guy looks like lagging a bit. I believe. Fucking shit. Yeah, I suck at the mini game. Ready. Go. Even if we win this, we will still fail. T1. Try Tifa instead. Tifa Lockhart, Battle Beach. Ready. Go. 
I don't understand how to, how to win this. If I'm just about to press the same button or not. Try to press both circle and X. Oh, we foul. Flag! It's difficult, I don't know how to take up the flag. Try to do it on square, but... Ready. Fouled again. Ready. Go. Yes, we won this one, but we still lost, I believe. need to win at least two out of three in order to win. again because I don't know how to pick up the flag and I don't know how to run fast either. Ah, yeah, see there. If I click too fast he g gets... possible to just walk here. Alright. It will not lead to any good results. Yeah, the model looked great. For PlayStation 1. 98 game from January 1998, so pretty much 97. Almost December, it was January 5th 1998, so almost December 1997. Ready? Go! Failed again. Again, X or circle button run. Uh, 
Yeah, and it failed. We couldn't run as much as as the other triangular square action. Okay, and it failed. Let's try to pick a different version of uh, Tifa. Press select now uh, when I select it. I don't know if it worked. No, it didn't. Fuck. Ready! Need to Ready! download the save it everything unlocked and leave. And uh, read up on how to activate uh, alternate loops. I think we're done. We won't play as Vincent or Sephiroth in this. We need to play their arcade first. Okay, then we have Seph we have Zach Fair and uh, to play too. He's like Cloud, but with a different look. And then, then we have alternate version of Cloud, as a soldier, and an alternate Tifa, and an alternate Vincent as a Turk. Okay. So we have the battle beat, we have the battle panel. It's actually fun against players. Uh, battle Runner and Infinity Battle, like a survival mode. So there's a survival mode here. Mode here. We used active versus CPU mode. I believe there's a secret, uh, secret battle panel mode too. Okay, so this is Air Gaze, God bless the ring. Uh, we will end here and continue another time. In the next video, maybe I will play the Arcade S. Uh, Vincent, Sephiroth, and Zach Fair. So if we wait too long, the, the intro will start. Okay, thanks for watching. And this game, by the way, was developed by Square and Dream Factory. Okay, bye.